Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my favorite DIY fall beverages. It's truly the taste of the season that gets me ready to switch from summer into fall mode. Okay, but really, fall has always been my favorite season. I love the smell of fall candles. I love when the weather gets cooler and wearing cozy scarves and sweaters. And of course, all the yummy fall drinks and treats. But going to Starbucks daily isn't in the cards for my wallet or for staying in my my WW points. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lauren. I'm currently following the My WW Blue Plan as a part of my weight loss journey. So each recipe I'll be sharing with you today is point friendly or just a healthier option if you're not following a My WW Plan right now. So you can still enjoy your favorite fall flavors. Each of these recipes is extremely easy to do at home and doesn't require a lot of ingredients or specialty equipment. And with that, let's get started making our first drink. Our first drink is more of a product recommendation than a recipe, but I am telling you guys, this is the best off the shelf from a grocery store pumpkin spice flavored cold brew that you're going to ever have. This is the Stoke Pumpkin Creamed Cold Brew. You just simply pour over ice and then add a bit of the pumpkin spice whip topping that you can get at Aldi. As you'll see here and in some of the other recipes throughout the video, I got a little excited about how pretty I was making my coffee drinks look and wasn't necessarily following to the T the recipe. So this is more than a serving of whipped topping. Sprinkle a little bit of pumpkin spice or cinnamon seasoning on top and you have the perfect hybrid of an iced pumpkin spice latte and a pumpkin cream cold brew. I'll be including recipe cards at the end of each segment, as well as a timestamp in the description bar if you wanna jump around to different recipes or come back another time to review the recipe ingredients and points. At this point in the morning, my two-year-old Lila wanted to have coffee with mommy. So I went ahead and put just a tiny bit of the whipped topping onto her milk. This is coffee. Is it delicious? Yeah. Up next is our maple pecan whipped coffee. This whipped coffee has been so popular last summer and I'm so excited to transition this yummy beverage for fall. To make whipped coffee, you're going to take one tablespoon of instant coffee, one tablespoon of pure Vermont maple syrup, and one tablespoon of warm water. Whisk it all together. You can whisk this by hand. It may take up to five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and do some video magic. Use a hand mixer, mix until soft peaks form. It should look the consistency of a creamy peanut butter. Next, I'm going to add ice to a glass and pour over one cup of oat beverage in maple from Trader Joe's. You can also substitute this out for a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk and it'll taste just as delicious. And it'll also save you about four points. Go ahead and spoon the whipped coffee over the milk. And this is how a lot of pictures you see online look. I typically end up needing to blend that coffee mixture in with my milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Almost a cappuccino type of flavor with a nice foamy top to it. Then for some extra maple pecan flavor, I'm going to take one tablespoon of this skinny syrup in maple bourbon pecan. This adds zero points to your coffee but is a nice little touch of sweetness and flavor. Stir it up, add a straw and enjoy. Now we're going to be making our s'mores protein latte. 
For this beverage, you're gonna start with one cup of dark roast strong coffee or espresso. I'm just using strongly brewed black coffee. Pour this into a saucepan. And then you're going to add half a carton of a Premier Protein Shake in chocolate. Anyone else think this is just beautiful? <laughs> it's like we're making coffee art. I can't stop looking at it. All right, add a couple cinnamon sticks or some powdered cinnamon and then place on the stove top on low until you achieve a light simmer. Here's a little tip. Don't throw away that extra leftover coffee in the mornings that you brew. Get yourself a silicone ice tray, add it in, put it in the freezer so you have coffee ice cubes. If you stick around to the end of the video, I have a bonus fifth recipe where we'll be using these coffee ice cubes. Now that our mixture has simmered, we're going to go ahead and pour it into a heat proof mug or glass. And then while it was simmering, I also took two marshmallows, placed them in a nonstick pan, and placed them under the broiler on high, just until they puffed up and got a little bit brown on top. We're gonna add this to the top of our coffee mixture, then place a graham cracker and some graham cracker crumbles on top, and you're ready for a campfire. Now we're going to be making our caramel apple spice beverage. So for all of you non-coffee drinkers out there, this one's for you. And I think this version is just as good, if not better, than the Starbucks version. We're going to start with one cup of pressed apple juice per serving you're making. I'm actually making a double serving in this recipe because I was making some for my whole family. So for each serving you're making, one cup of pressed apple juice, one tablespoon of skinny syrup and caramel. And then we're going to just add a sprinkle of pumpkin pie spice or a variety of your own spices if you want to add your own cinnamon nutmeg combination. And add to the crock pot or slow cooker. But you can also simmer it down on the stove top. The slow cooker is a great way to prep this for multiple people if you're making it for your whole family one weekend or for a small gathering. When it's all heated up, don't forget to add it to a mug, add some whipped topping and a sprinkle of cinnamon, and you're all set for a delicious fall apple beverage. This would be the perfect treat after a nice family day out picking apples. It's time for our bonus recipe, an iced caramel macchiato. So what we're going to do is take three to four of those coffee ice cubes we made earlier. These are larger size ice cubes, so you can eyeball it depending on your taste for coffee. Go ahead and pour over a little bit of that skinny syrup and caramel, and then pour over one cup of your favorite kind of milk or non-dairy substitute. I did 2% here because that's what I had in the house right now, but that's gonna come out a little higher points than say if I substitute with an almond milk. All right guys, that's all for my fall beverages video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can hear about my newest video. Stay tuned. I'll be coming out with another video in this series for the holidays. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.